I don't trust anyone. You know, you thought you sounded cool when you said that. You think you're this nigga, huh? You think you're the main character, homeboy. First of all, okay, I'm the main character. Let's get that straight. Second of all, shut your lonely ass up, you bitch. I'm no psychologist, but, um... I think you may have some deep trauma. What happened, huh? Some girl cheated on you in middle school? A nigga will get his heart broke in first grade and join the dark side for life. Nigga got hit with the swerve during recess and now he's a whole Sith Lord, shooting lightning beams out his hand sockets. I don't trust anyone. You think we care, huh? Nigga, no. Dude probably had a whole party, everyone dancing and having fun. Meanwhile, he's in the corner of the room. They don't know I don't trust them. He thinks to himself with a with a smirk on his face, go outside, make some friends, get some bitches, nigga. Actually don't, I think that might actually increase your trust issues. Find a girlfriend. Actually don't, you can't actually have a healthy relationship with someone <laughs> if, if, if you can't trust anyone. If anything, I think the people I'm speaking to actually do have bitches. Just a surplus of hoes lined up in their contacts like the, the, the Super Smash Bros character selection screen, pun intended. You're gonna die a very lonely death. Actually, <laughs> what I meant to say was, you're gonna die a very lonely death. Oh wait, I, I was right the first time. Have you ever considered therapy? I have. That shit is boring as fuck. The entire time you're sitting there, the dude's just asking questions about your life. Like, nigga, I don't know you. Trying to invade my life, trying to get details on my habits, and then you gotta pay the motherfucker afterwards. Like, what? $60 a session? Once a week? That's like... That's like $3,000 a month. We should be a lot more empathetic in these sorts of situations. I'm not saying befriend people like that. Nah, I, I've made that mistake before. Niggas like that will do you grime. They be bumming rides off you. You be paying for their snacks at the convenience store and then they steal your weed. First of all, I can't even smoke weed no more. That, that shit gives me psychosis, okay? That leftover weed in the car, you could have just asked the nigga, I would have just given it to you. That's how crazy it is. Not everyone that distrusts people are inherently criminal, but it's best to keep a safe distance. I make it sound like there's some sort of bubonic plague patient. I don't mean physically. It's more of like a mental thing. The more you try to get close to someone that distrusts people, it actually has the opposite effect. It's kind of like... It's kind of like the cats from Minecraft. It honestly does depend on the type of personality the person has. Are they a fighter or a flighter? A flighter pretty much is gonna keep to themselves. If they don't trust people, they might just stay home all the time, go to work, come home, eat, sleep, mundane ass life. You befriend a fighter that doesn't trust people? Maybe have a little slumber party with them? That nigga gonna steal your bone marrow while you sleeping at night. You gonna wake up, what the fuck? Where did my kidneys go? Nigga took a rib from you like God did Adam. Probably sold that shit on the black market for like $5,000. And you know what he about to do with that money? That's right, he about to pay for them therapy sessions. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least he's trying to better himself. You can't really hate a man for bettering his life, but uh, yeah, to the people who say this dumbass shit, I don't trust people. My heart is behind a brick wall. Bless your heart, okay? I hope one day you ease up a bit, okay? Just relax. Kind of